it's Pete here and I'm back for another Funbridge tournament. This is 8 boards using the Funbridge program. I'll show you how to get into it if you want to, uh, but give it a shot if you haven't. And let's get started. Slash practice is how you kick it off. Uh, and then exclusive tournaments down the bottom. And then your favorite tournaments. You can, if you've never played it before, click view all tournaments, search for Bridgevid or Pete Hollands and give it a shot. Okay, so 178 people have played it, and the top spot goes to Jindavik with plus 36 imps. John Edge taking out uh, equal second with Bubble Bobble uh, with plus 30. And just behind them, MSL 1963. And finally, a good score, and Tadpole 42 uh, taking out equal fourth spot with plus 29 imps. There's a lot of. Uh, it's really close up at the top there. There was uh, five imps between eighth and second. So that was really tight uh, up there. Um, have a quick look who else did well. So uh, lots of people up around the 20 imp marker. So two, three sort of big uh, swing boards, most likely. Uh, have a quick look at uh, which people will actually take. Made it above halfway. Uh, lots of sixes and sevens, so must beat Pete's meat. Uh, plus five. Sydney boy plus four. Can't compete with Pete. Plus three. And there we are. Okay, so I got 15 points. Balanced hand. Uh, four triple three. So probably want to get to three no trumps, but no harm in starting with one heart first. And then three no trumps. Not interested in slam or anything. And here we are with a spade lead. We've got three spades, two clubs, a heart and a diamond. So that's three, four, seven. So I need two more. Looks like playing on diamonds is a good start. Uh, we've got ample en entries to both hands. So let's just kick it off with winning and uh, taking a diamond finesse straight up. Ten of spades. Righty's got the jack. Um, Low diamond. Uh, even if they're four one, I still have the entries to get back to my hand, so that's okay. We'll finesse again. Club discard. Okay. Um, so I am considering doing something like ducking a heart. That seems like it will be unlikely to cost. Is uh, I'm gonna lose a diamond. I could cash out. Well, I could knock out the king of diamonds and cash out for four diamonds. Two clubs is six. Three spades is nine, and a heart is ten. But I really want to try and make eleven. So we'll duck a trick here and uh, take that. All right. I'm gonna get, keep the long club in my hand, and the good heart maybe in the other one. So we'll win the the spade here. Gonna cash the other spade. Um. Okay, so I want to set. I want to try and squeeze someone. Um, and I think the best way is just sort of doing it. This. Yeah, and I just want to see if my uh, fourth club comes good because the king, queen, of hearts are still both missing. And they held on to the club. So I don't think there's any way of getting an extra trick there. Uh, really, really flat. Ooh, 76 people can prove me wrong. So let's have a look here. So diamond finesse, diamond, they cash the diamond, club to the hand and set that up. And the robots shift to a heart. That would certainly work. Here I was trying my heart out to do it, but uh, just put them in, they'll do it for you. I could have, like, the way, if I've got entries, I can actually lead, like, a low heart to the nine. I can sort of pick up that suit that way yourself, but... Um, 
I was kind of happy with what I did. 2515, uh, this looks like a 2 no trump bid. Clubs and hearts, and partner is just wanting three hearts. We're vol against not, so I, I would do this without the queen of diamonds. Um, but I don't think I can be that much worse, but uh, so we'll uh, pass there. And partner has a misfitting hand and pretty weak one too. So East opened the bidding, they got the ace of diamonds. Uh, we got a diamond, we got two spades, we got the ace of clubs. I've got a heart loser. The eight mummer is raiding with a party of 11. Welcome, welcome. Um, so whenever trumps are an issue, starting on a side suit early, pretty good idea. So I'm just going to kick it off by leading up towards my club. Oh, wow. The ace of clubs is with the West players. Uh, that is about as bad a news as I could have actually uh, gotten because the ace of spades is almost certainly offside. Because uh, we had 13 and 6 is 19. Um, 21 missing. So uh, West has shown up with 5 points so far. The Ace and Jack of Clubs. So 16. There is just still room that they could have the Ace of Spades. But uh, it doesn't look good. Slam alert. No, no, no. Uh, th this is a part score, hope we make it alert sort of hand. Um, just going to rough here and see if clubs are 3 3. They're not, so that's even bad news. Uh, so we'll trump in there um, and try drawing trumps. Okay, good news, Trump's broke. Uh, and now I just want to see if I can um, force Lefty to give me a spade. So we'll lead it eight of spades. It didn't cover, I'm just gonna duck that and hope that I've got the ace and will have to lead up towards me. It'll be really sad if the ace of spades is onside. No, <laughs> okay, good. West would have done pretty well to like hop in with the Queen of Spades. It would have made it quite awkward for me. Anyway, plus one imp for only going down one. Most people in three hearts went down two or down three. Uh, if you buy it in one heart, you get the chance for maybe getting the uh, dicey score of plus 80. Pretty rare one. Anyway, uh, moving on to board number three. We've got 10 high card points and we are favorable. This is a pretty nice 10 count. So uh, I've always wanted to be testing more of opening 10 counts. This has a good suit. I'm gonna get in there and just try, try and bid one club, two clubs. Two diamonds showed hearts and spades and double uh, just showed values. So three clubs feels like an overbid, although it says 12 to 15 points. Uh, pass seems uh, fair. Wow, he sold out to two spades. I, I was not expecting after a double from my partner that uh, that would be passing. Anyway, um, they probably have good spades or maybe good hearts. And yeah, we'll just lead a spade. Try and cut down on roughs. Dummy was really, really good there. So Dummy had Ace King King. They had a 15 count with a 5530 shape. Okay, well, um, I, I, I guess I'm getting my Ace of Diamonds. Uh, I guess I should take this and just uh, return a diamond and set that up for a trick. Ah, oh, yeah, sweet. Just the 11 tricks. Um, okay, that probably worked well. Plus nine imps. 
Look at that, the value of opening. So when you open, you put people on the back foot and make it a bit awkward for them. Um, here, if it goes like pass a spade, pass, and they raise to two spades, this west hand can easily invite or bid slam, whatever they feel like doing. But here, when they showed uh, a 5-5 five five shape, East is like, oh, my king jacket clubs are no good. Like, how much do I want to bid? Put them in the back foot there. So the aggressive uh, opening bid worked wonders. Um, yeah, so they just forced a game as expected if you pass. But, uh, yeah, just looking at the vulnerability, going, ah, oh, we're favorable. Let, let's test this out. Um, good six card suit. Try and open. And when you open, you put the opponents on the back foot. So, yeah. And uh, just here, be careful. Your bid mat, your one club bitch, <laughs> your one club bid matches a hand of at least 12 points where you only had 10. I like it how it warns me. Anyway, we're up plus 10. Moving on to board number four. 18 highs and a 6133, so one spade. One no. So I kind of want to bid something like three spades, but have it be forcing. Or something where I can say, like, I want to play in four spades or three no. Um, but there's no good methodology here. Again, this is a spot where uh, you might want to play conventions to try and help. Um, I am going to jump to three clubs, which is just game forcing and leaves room for partner to try and show some spades. And they said just three, no. I will trust them that they don't want to play in spades and pass. Okay. Uh, so here we still didn't find our six, two spade fit. And my partner had a club fit and doubleton spade. But I got two, two red kings, so opted to go low there. Uh, we've got three diamonds. We've got a club is four. We might be able to get five spade tricks. Um, I want to take a double finesse, but entries to the south hand are extremely limited. They might put me back with a heart. Um, if I finesse a spade and they lead like the queen of hearts through, that'll be ominous. Um, and I'll have to find some awkward discards. So. Uh, all right. I, I need to play on spades. The question is, do I want to save entries? And what about if I hoped that I get a heart trick? a club, three diamonds, and four spades, and do something like win the ace of diamonds and just lead a low spade away from uh, the ace jack to eight. Make it more awkward for them. You can always take a club finesse later. Like the, the fear I have is I win the king of diamonds and I lead the eight of spades through and it loses to west and they play the queen of hearts. Um, even if they don't do that, uh, like if I play a spade here, I'm hoping that uh, the spades are three, two with the honors split and that the ace of hearts is with West. Whereas if I do something like a low spade, if the ace of hearts is with West, uh, I still might go down. I guess I have to hope that West has the ace of hearts. I don't like it. I like it a little bit more now. <laughs> and I need entries back to my hand, so I'll just give up a club here. Um, that either gave me an extra club trick or... Um... Okay, uh, so West has... Ace of hearts, king of clubs, queen of spades, and they're a passed hand. Spade is definitely working. We've got the rest. Beautiful. Three no plus one. That was a awkward contract. Four spades would have been nicer, I think. 
Okay, so some people just bid to one spade, three spades. Again, this hand wants to gain force. You really want some methodology for that. You don't want partner to pass. Uh, some people just bid one spade, three clubs, and then opted for four spades, so chose the same sort of path. Or open two clubs. I don't like, again, this hand is really awkward if partner bids a no trump, but it's not good enough for opening uh, two clubs, I don't think. Couldn't find a good way to show the hand after a spade and no trump. Eventually chose to devalue the heart jack and underbid with two spades. I chose three clubs, which in my system doesn't promise four, neither in mine, but 20 to 23 game force felt more, like more of a lie. Uh, same problem, chose the most unanalytic solution for this problem. Bid game and try to make it. I think four spades is completely normal. With kings in the minors and spade queen doubleton, I could make slam, but how could partner know the diamond king is a good card after my three club? No, four spades and I'm done so yeah some people just jumping to four spades me it was more just you know i didn't really want to play opposite a singleton spade but i guess it's not bad um but yeah not not really happy with the methodology there like good spot for uh, conventions but uh, got away with that one and plus seven imps moving on to board number five 12 high card points, flat hand, so just stamen and then three no trump. That'll do. Yeah. So we have four club winners. A diamond winner is five, two hearts and two spades is nine. So we're looking for over tricks. Uh, and seven of diamonds lead is hard to tell what that's from. Um, well, I want to cover that for starters. Seven, ten, king. Okay, so I think they've led from like queen, jack, eight, seven. Because um, otherwise West would have put in the jack or the, like the queen if they had it. So East has the queen. So then it's like queen and seven. So they might have like queen, eight, seven or queen, jack, seven. So I'm going to win that because I think that nine of diamonds is a good stopper or a stopper at least. Um, I kind of want to untangle the clubs, but then I can't get back to the spades. I could take a spade finesse. And if I, I think West is more likely to have the queen of spades, but if West wins it, I think I'm a lot safer against the diamonds. So, um, Ace of spades and a spade to the jack. Okay. That's a bit of good news. Okay. So now we're up to four spades, four clubs, two hearts, and a diamond is 11. So we're uh, trying to work out if we can make 12. And I think the answer is no. But uh, let's just see about that first. I'm going to cash all my clubs. And I'm, I'm thinking that nine of diamonds is my best bet of like maybe making things awkward. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to do anything. I will just cash out. They have the last couple. Yeah, they did have uh, Queen Jack 8 7. Tricky one to read that one. Okay. Knew it. Six in a suit is usually better if you're missing points. What was that? Ah, you, you can make six spade contract. There you go. Moving on to board number six. So far, doing well. Plus 18. Uh, we've got a two, five, two, four. So one heart followed up with two clubs. So 
hit and a balanced hand. Interesting. Um, so I got a pretty balanced hand. Like I'm tempted by opening one no trump on this sort of hand. Now partner's offering me uh, three no trumps. Um, I'm tempted to take, uh, just choose that. Um, my Dalton spades a little worrying because the description here says they got between two or three spades. Uh, but let's give it a shot. We'll, we'll pass. I'm not interested in slam. I was tempted by just passing, um, uh, by opening one no trump, and here we are. So four hearts looks like it might lose. Club, a spade, a diamond. It, it'll probably make. Uh, no trumps looks like we've got one spade, three hearts, but maybe five, two clubs and a diamond. So I want to, I've got two spades now, a ducking. I want to test the hearts. And so we'll start with ace, queen of hearts. Okay, so the hearts are all good. Um, I could hope that clubs are 3-3 three, three, or that diamond finesse works. I'm gonna cash my hearts first, see if they uh, do anything like throw a club. They're both throwing clubs, three clubs. Okay, well, the clubs are all going to be good. So, play a club to the ace. Ah. Uh, hmm. I've kind of messed this up. Uh, I don't think, like, oh, I've already made the contract, but they might be out of spades. Yep. But certainly messed it up a little bit. I, I should have played, like, a club to the ace. No, I should have ducked a club, um, thinking that they probably, like, cashing the king of clubs club was hoping that they've thrown all their tricks, which they're unlikely to do. Whereas club to the eight, the way I played it, I needed to hope that ace was out of spades, which they were. Uh, but plus four imps. Um, some people went down in four hearts. Just have a quick look at what happened here. Queen of clubs. And they finessed the jack of hearts first up. So not great play with uh, missing uh, five hearts. Just the jack. I want to play for the hearts to be three too. Um, others just made uh, ten tricks. So club, they won. Two trumps. And took a diamond finesse. A lot tougher in um, four hearts. That, that, that low spade lead uh, really helped me there. And then finally, making 11 tricks. How was it done? Club lead, they won. They uh, drew trumps. Well, most of the trumps, they left one out. And led a low spade towards the queen. That would have been awkward if West hopped up with the king and just played another heart. Um, so I think ace of spade spade would be slightly better there. Um, but so far, plus 22, two boards to play. Oh, beautiful hand. 19 count, solid six card diamond suit. Uh, this one will be awkward to follow up with a rebid, but uh, we'll start with the diamond. And... Two spades is a fit in hearts and a strong hand. Not so sure about that, but start with double. And double now shows really strong. Really? Partner passed that? That doesn't seem good. Like, uh, my double said, like, uh, Exactly three hearts, at least four diamonds, and five cards at spade. 
um, and just showed like 17 plus points. So I don't think it should be a penalty double, but I am not liking how this auction went. I think I'd prefer to be in six diamonds than two spades doubled. At least dummy is really bad. Uh, my partner played the nine and the seven. I don't know if they do um, a natural count or <laughs> I don't know what signals they're playing, which is which isn't good. Um, but I think if my partner's out, I really really need to play another diamond. Um, if my partner has another one, maybe shortening them is okay. I'm just hoping my partner doesn't have another diamond. Okay, good. Don't like how this is going so far. Uh, this guy's only got at least most two hearts, so. My partner is uh, failing to win tricks at the moment. Uh, this guy's got one more. Um, Okay, yeah, they're out of spades, they're out of hearts. To win that and cash my diamond and hopefully my partner has a club. Hooray! Look at that, plus 200. And what did we miss, like, slam? Yeah, 14 people uh, got doubled two spades. On this deal, you can make five heart contract. Um... Like, I have no idea why my partner chose to pass. Like, to me, like, my double just said, I've got a good hand, and then I've just got takeout doubles. And the description seemed to sort of line up with that as well. Um, but as it is, we lose the ace of spades and ace of clubs. But you can make four hearts, you can make five diamonds, but doubling two spades. Seems, um, I have no idea why partner passed. Like, like Passing says, like, I just don't know what to bid. And I think that's just a terrible choice by them. They know I've got a, a take-up double with, like, one spade and a good hand. All their points are working elsewhere, so um, they should try bidding at least something. Anyway, uh, plus 16, one board to go. And we have a 5-5 five five shape. Um, so... Two clubs is a two suitor with diamonds and hearts, which seems good. Partner is not interested. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at their bids. Uh, so three clubs was just forcing with a fit, something like a game try. Three diamonds said, I've got some diamond cards. He said, I've got control in clubs first or second round. I said, I got control in diamonds. And then they said, oh, we don't have control in space. So uh, listening to their thing, I think they don't have the ace or king of hearts. So let's try and lead hearts. Okay, West had that, but still didn't cooperate, which seems weird. But I knew at least East didn't have it, which means leading the ace is okay. Okay, spade up. There's only one heart left out. Drawing trumps. Okay, so my partner had four spades. Probably could have afforded to cover that just in case they were being super tricky. But when that, they have the rest. I needed to hold on to more of my diamonds. Plus four imps. 
Uh, some tables got to slam. They bid two clubs and then followed it up with three diamonds. And they're like, sure, let's play slam. Um, some people got doubled in four hearts. Started with two hearts and then showing diamonds. Hit partner with an unfortunately bad hand. Could Michaels be right here? Well, I passed all the way and got a plus score. I thought so, quite descriptive, although always the risk of tipping off the distribution when you defend. Yeah, like, Michaels, the downside is when you're defending, you've made it really, really easy for them. Uh, that being said, um, there's no reason to think that maybe uh, you'd be defending this. Like, this is a pretty good hand. You, you want to be bidding. Like, you could be making five diamonds, five hearts, that sort of stuff. Hello's got to six spades. Try and work out where this plus score is. Double. Anyway, uh, overall pretty solid, uh, plus 20. So pretty happy with that. Uh, the one board I didn't do great on was uh, where we doubled two spades. Not a huge fan of my partner's choices there. But plus 20 puts me in the uh, equal 14th range with about a thousand people, more or less. Um, but uh, well done to Jindavik uh, with plus 36. That was a solid showing there. Um, big shout out to all my patron supporters. Without them, wouldn't be able to make this sort of content. So I like doing it. Hope you do too. So if you like it, please consider supporting me. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.